Our next match is Dave versus Artem. From the USA, he is 45 years old, six foot two, and 275 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Easy Money Dave Chafee. Here he comes, Easy Money Dave Chafee from the USA, looking solid. There is the signature double biceps from. The man from USA, smile on his face. And his opponent from Kazakhstan. He is 24 years old, six foot four and 287 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Terminator, Adam Morozov. Adam Morozov coming in, looking like an absolute unit. I mean, he's all right. You know, he's. <laughs> no, this, I'm really excited to see this match, see what um, Artem has for Dave Chafee. Uh, stylistically, I'm wondering if Artem's going to go into Dave's power. Uh, traditionally, right handed Artem likes to hook. I mean, I did my homework on him before we had our match and he destroyed me. But um, I want to see if he's going to go into Dave's power or not, and I'm interested to see how that pans out. Yeah, only 24 years old is Artem Morozov, incredibly <laughs> promising athlete. He, he's put on such a display in, in the East vs. West matches to, to date. Uh, but this is his biggest test. Dave Chafee, an absolute uh, iron house puller. He's been at the top for a long time. When it comes down. to strength standards, Dave Chafee is kind of the both. gatekeeper to the elite. Oh, definitely, 100%. I mean, he has wins on Denis Plenkov, and, and I mean, can you name it? All right, let's have a look at this first round. This is the all-important round that'll, that'll tell us whether this is a match that Morozov can take or it's going to be... Easy money, Dave Chafee now. You can see great position there from Morozov. He looks confident in his hand. It's actually Dave that was kind of unsettled. Yeah. I think uh, Dave wants to get a little more purchase. He has a pretty big hand, Dave does, so um, I think he's going to want more, probably a ref script. I know he's not afraid of having a ref script to get a little more coverage and feel comfortable in Morozov's hand. So you can see both athletes down. kind of equally committing their shoulders. The knuckle down. Both just traditionally trusting their hand, their side pressure. Straps may very well be a possibility here. I think both guys will somewhat okay, stop. hold on at Red first. Dip. But as soon as they sense that formation kick in, expect a slip to happen. Oh man, this is I'm, odds are this is going to be a hook war, or at least go into a hook, and then hopefully it's a war. Um, you know, the young, the young, the young up-and-comer versus the, uh, the uh, tried and tested veteran. Of course, Dave Chafee is someone who comes out of the blocks very well. Yeah, like we saw his match against Gennady Kvikvinia. He took the first two grip, rounds very grip. convincingly. Straight. But then faded towards okay. the end. This is the center his here. side pressure. Okay. Awkward, the difficult center, side pressure Just from don't Dave push, Chafee. Don't push. No, no. Last time, um, you know, before my match with Artem, he got in a long hook don't battle push, with, with uh, Prutnik, Shoulders. but Prutnik had hand position. Don't move your shoulders. Uh, I don't think Dave will go down. up in uh, Morozov's hand. He'll more grab around the wrist uh, and okay. really tax, try to tax Morozov's bicep. First. Here we go. Ref script start moments away. Go. There is the start Stop and much. good side pressure from both athletes. <laughs> Results in the slip and we're off to the strap. Doesn't really tell us much. I would say Morozov was a little more explosive out the gate, but uh, as expected, Dave was more um, just trying to stay solid and center table, and uh, Morozov kind of slipped underneath uh, Dave's hand a, look, a little bit. Um, straps is going to tie them. This is, you know, that bottom strap, guys, really ties the other person to the other guy's lap. I mean, you're tied to the biggest the muscles now uh, in their body. So this is going to be a powerful, big muscle match right here. This, we're going to see who has more big muscles, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, and, and look, Morozov, fair. despite him only being 24 okay. years old, he is the bigger man in this situation. Uh, obviously, hasn't been pulling for as long as okay. Dave Chaffee, who comes in at 45 years old. But Morozov stands at six foot four or 195 centimeters tall. He's 130 kilos compared to Dave's 125 and six foot two. So the bigger man, Adam Morozov. Dude, is a unit. He has abs. Like, I mean, I mean, who has abs here? Okay. I mean, he has abs on his biceps. <laughs> Too low, yeah. Down. Good. So you can see the deep grip from both athletes there. They're trusting themselves in this one. No one's running. Mm -hmm. They're going to just find out who has more side pressure, who is the stronger man when they just go straight at each don't, other. Don't, don't do that. Don't knifing. 
We'll you hear the referee saying no knifing there. Both athletes looking to control center. Center, of course, is so hey, important. Is you Open. control center, you control rotation. This is so going into a hook. Look how far Dave's palm is past the back of oh, Morozov's hand. Dave Fred's looks shoulder. great shoulder. for the depth there. Morozov. Don't move your shoulders. I close. Morozov Shallower close. grip. Let's Dave. See. Dave's arm is so deep through the strap. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Straighter is straight, straight, straight. Ready. Go. Ooh. There it is. Big stuff Stop. from Dave Chafee. Big side pressure. Winner. And ends with the top roll. Takes the wrist of Arden Morozov. Put the elbow down, please. Acknowledgement there from the younger man of, of just, wow, superior side pressure and strength all around. Man, the ability, the ability to top roll somebody or have their hand bend, hand bend back when your palm was that deep into their palm means you top rolled them from like an inch above their wrist. Not up in their fingers, from an inch above their wrist. That's super impressive. Um, Morozov's cupping has to be taxed a little bit after that, I mean, from getting top rolled that deep. Yeah, the replay shows that the Dave Chevy had the high knuckles position there, and that resulted in his hand being secure, Morozov's being compromised when the side pressure was applied. Dave Chevy taking a great start, 1-0. to zero. So, I mean, what do you think in terms of options for Morozov? What, what, do you, what adjustments are you seeing him trying to make here? Yeah, well, Morozov, he, he did, first of all, Dave Chaffee had the high ground. So right now, Morozov's either got to go back and fight for the high ground and see if he can change that. Having the low grip there with the wrist flexion as his, as his go-to move didn't work. He's, he's got to take Dave's hand away from him. Because if Dave's hand is secure, he gets full access to his side pressure, which we've seen is, is too much. Morozov needs to work on Dave's hand. Yeah, definitely, I agree. Dave looking like a unit. Let's see if we get an adjustment from Adam Morozov. You can see outside of straps, Morozov looks good. He mm -hmm. takes the high ground instinctively. Shoulders. He gets on the tricep the side of his elbow, and he forces the Please. issue. Dave, I feel like he's not as comfortable Both outside wrist. of straps. Yeah, Maybe Morozov holds on right here. Let's see what happens. Start coming. You can see the wrist, wrist. is quite supinated from Morozov. He may wrist. well want to hold on. One warning. Straight your wrist. One warning. He's Morozov. not straightening up there. Ready, go. He is. He's holding on outside of the straps. And there is the stop one inch from the oh, pin. Wow. But Dave Chavey surges. No pin called yet. That looks like it could have been called. But Morozov starting to shake oh, his head. Wow. We are in with a war. Morozov looking to fight back outside of straps. He's taking the lesson from Gennady Kvikvinia. We have an elbow foul. Oh. No, a win. Wow. Man, that was a war. These guys are in the thick of it now. Morozov has proven that he deserves to be on that table with Dave Chafee. His bicep must have reached 27 inches just now. Oh, oh my goodness. Look, Dave Chafee just spent a lot of fuel no. then right now. I think there were moments in that match then where Morozov was nodding and smiling. Like, I got this, I got this. But Dave Chafee, there's the replay. You can see the pin happening. Dave getting a bit, it was just adding a little bit of drag at the end that got the job done. The laugh and smile from Morozov. Dave as well, those big smiles back. They enjoyed that one, those two. Round three is going to heat up, I reckon. Looking a little bit similar to the Gennady and Dave match now. Dave dominating the first first match, a little less dominant in the second match. I, I want to see it. Does Morozov jump deeper into a hook this next round and really try to get on Dave's bicep because he got some stops there. I mean, he, that might be his lane to victory going center table and diving on a Dave's bicep as hard yeah. as he can. 100% right there. I agree with you, Derek. Uh, that is the lane that works. The strap didn't work round one. Uh, he's learned from Gennady. Gennady came forward at him. He initiated with a press and then took control of rotation outside the straps. Dave just redlined. Dave just got through that one by the skin of his teeth. If that position gets achieved again by Adam Morozov off the go, it's a real possibility he wins the round. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if he wins this third round, um, being up two or being down 2-0, this might change the, the tide of the entire thing because Dave is really relying on his bicep in these current moves that he's doing. And if that, if that fails, well, I don't know what he goes to, to be honest. Yeah, Dave Chavey isn't someone known to have a whole heap of stylistic options up his sleeve. He always just takes control and is strong in his fundamental shape. But Adam Morozov, he's got a glimmer right now. He's felt something. He's felt a lane. Let's see if he can execute. Here we go, round number three. So exciting. I can't, man, this is so exciting. Where's Dave's head at right now? Is he, is he, is he getting flashbacks of Gennady right now? <laughs> I think he's probably focused on the match at hand, but... Um, I mean, he has to be thinking about it for sure. Yeah, Morozov looking committed. Look, he's already supinating his wrist down there, getting ready to chop into Dave's, to Dave's hand. Yeah, he's trusting a deep grip. 
Oh, yeah, put, put little... Uh, his shoulder lineman is, is, is a little confusing. He didn't look like he was inching his shoulder forward for a deeper hook. His hand position looked like he was going for a deep hook, but his shoulder position looked like he was about to roll out. Yeah, you can see the man from Kazakhstan is pumped up. Adam Morozov wants this. He still he believes he's in this match, despite being down 2-0. to zero. He knows there's a comeback on the cards. Let's see if he can pull it off. Dave Chafee, one win away. Okay, it looks like Morozov's getting ready to be offensive, is what it is. Take a grip, grip. Risk here. Big side pressure Chef, coming up wrist. from Adam Morozov. Ooh, Dave, not liking the grip. Wrist very I bent though on Morozov. Still a long way from yeah, the start, time. still, despite that grip. grip. A lot. Knuckle height at the moment, still not okay. Morozov not coming down off Dave Chavy's knuckle. Wrist. Straight your wrist. Chef, wrist. Wrist being told to be straightened, but no compliance wrist. yet. Stop. We're going to get Reference a warning. Grip. No, we are off to the referee's grip. I'm not really understanding. I mean, I'm not saying how the referee grip is going to help Dave too much in this situation. Um, probably just more for comfort. It looks like Morozov's ready to Again, explode cover, with yeah. side pressure. Covered Almost down. like as if he's going to Models potentially awesome. top roll the dude. I, I don't know that he... like Gennady initiated right. forward right now. He initiated Reference with press, grip. and that worked. State your shoulders. It looks like to me like, like Morozov's just going to explode sideways shoulders. really Thumbs aggressively. Down. I don't know if that's the best idea. If he commits his shoulder too much, Dave might open him all the way up. I agree. He's got to be careful, Morozov, not to open up too much. Here we go. go. Start. There it is. There's the top roll. Oh, there's the top roll. Oh, wow. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it is two to one. Dave Chafee over Adam Morozov, but Morozov has just busted the wrist back of Dave Chafee. I got to say, I called it. Man, you, you did. You, you called it, man. So now what? Now what does Dave do? His wrist has now been exploited, and his bicep is, is taxed from that second round. Look at the replay here. Morozov explodes, side pressure, keeps control of the hand, gets Dave compromised, finishes the match, and there it is, the win. Morozov on fight right now. Dave Chaffee, as you said, he's got to, he's, he's got to adjust. He's up to one, but this is where he was against Gennady, and he couldn't get the win. He needs a strap. Yeah, I straight see, up it needs a strap. 100. percent That's what I was gonna say. I, I see Dave, maybe uh, letting the wrist go a little bit, trying to get that strap game as much as he can to get tied down to his big muscles, to his lat and his shoulder, and able to recruit those to, you know, get onto Morozov's bicep. Now Dave, not known for his endurance, this this becomes an issue for him. He's up two to one. What does he What does he do? Does Does, does he fight hard to win the dominance in the in the position before the go, or is he relaxed and no load? Uh, I mean, I would say relax and no load is the move, but Dave is such a strong dude, he might just try to go for it. Okay. You know, he might just trust those big muscles again and just dive in there. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, round number four. It is two to one. Dave Chafee of the USA over Kazakhstan's Adam Morozov. But it is Adam Morozov now chalking up his opponent. Very, Dave, wipe that uh, off, very, Dave. Very, wipe, very wipe, wipe that off your end, Dave. Don't let him chalk you up, man. He doesn't dictate what you do. Adam Morozov, such a promising young prospect. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, only 24 years old is this man. He is a future megastar of this sport. And right now, he's declaring it. Dude, with options. You know what I mean? Not just a hook, with options. This dude is rolling out. Dave looks like he's somewhat committed slightly more forward than his usual energy. Mm -hmm. Shoulder think, creeping forward. Yeah, he, he, maybe he recognizes he can't get the straps, and maybe he says, I'm going to hold on. We're going to do this right here, right now, outside of straps, in a hook. I think Morozov starts with the hook and tries to roll out again. Yeah, Morozov's hand's deep. looking good. Okay. He's, deep, see, he's deep on Dave's so wrist, so I think he's going to try to block Dave's slip and then roll out again for the pin. Yep, Dave looks unsettled too. He can feel the hand is in trouble. Morozov's starting to get ahead in that department. Ready, go! Dave unsure of where to go. There's the top roll once again. He fights back, but Morozov in control. They're going to call it a pin. There is the nod from the referee. We're at two apiece. Oh, man. Morozov top rolling Morozov. Look at this dude busting out. It's two to two right now with a miraculous comeback. Artem Morozov, dude, super impressive. I told you guys. You know what I mean? I oh, man. You. Dude's a beast. Dude's a beast. Dave Chafee right now, if you're in his corner, like, where, where, where does he go? Do you see Chan Shaw coming up there, running up, trying to give Dave Chafee some advice? But as the replay shows, it was Adam Morozov just utterly controlling the hand and the wrist. Dave trying to get a slip right at the death there, but the referees confirming with each other, yeah, no, that one was too low. Sorry, Dave. Too all. 
Where do you go, Derek? Where do you go? Dude, I mean, I, I want to say a flop press Dave. Get to the strap. We got to get to the straps. I think his, his best bet, 100%, is getting to the straps uh, with Dave's current tools and where he likes to grip. The straps are gonna could potentially be his savior. Um, <laughs> but I don't know if Artem's going to let him get there, man. It, it may have to come in the form of a flop press to even get through the strap. Mm. Uh, because right now, the back pressure is being contained by Morozov. The hand control, the pronation is brutal from Morozov. Uh, I don't know that Dave can get to the straps with anything but a flop press but I, I, I can't in recent memories anyway I can't think of the time where I saw Dave Chaffee flop press from the go no no I, I can't think of um, I mean was there one round with Levon where he really tried to press through to get his hand out yeah quite possibly Levon did take control in a similar sense but but never a full blown committed in flop press from Dave Chaffee in my memory but here we go at this point in time this match is more of this. he's in control he's coming home strong uh, after being down two to zero, he's right here, two all now, and looking like the stronger man. Man, this makes me wonder how strong is Prudnik right-handed. <laughs> I mean, I know it's been a while, and our Morozov's been getting stronger, but Prudnik is um, uh, anyway. Back to this match. <laughs> yeah, of course, it, we're, uh, Prudnik did defeat Morozov. If you're wondering what, what we're referring to, but right here we have Dave Chafee and Adam Morozov locked at two apiece. Uh, with Dave Chavey now with his back up against the wall, Morozov has found the lane, he's found the endurance dominance, and he's got one more round to go. This is the deciding round between these two juggernauts of Knuckle. heavyweight arm wrestling. Morozov okay. looking hungry for the kill. And Dave your wrist. back Morozov. against the wall. Wrist. Shoulder. Wrist. Oh, looks wrist. like Dave's trying to go up. He looks like he's trying to load up Morozov's hand a little bit, maybe get a, a top roll type slip. Morozov. He's going knuckles up a little bit more than wrist. usual. He is indeed. He recognizes he needs the straps and he's going for it. The, the high knuckles is there. Go! And good attempted at slip, but one foul. The elbow coming off the back of the pad. He dumped his wrist. Good. That was good slip technique. Even given the situation, that was good. I think he just he just needs the more discipline to keep his elbow on the pad. He'll get to the straps if he does that again. Yeah. Okay, I mean, Dave not used to running. He's not used to running at all. It's hard, man. I'm not used to running either. That's why it feels a little bit foreign that trying was, to go to the slip. That was very Devin Larratt, wasn't it? Yeah. That oh, yeah. There. That attempted slip, which... Uh, you know, I, I gotta say, I like seeing this from Dave. I like seeing variation that I don't normally see. That right. was that was good. Take a grip. But gotta be careful, Freeze. Dave. Don't lose on some fouls, man. What yeah. was Here we go. The Freeze start Chaffee. coming up. Deciding round. Wrist. Dave Chafee, he's unsettled. Freeze. The sign of Ready. a man Go. that's up against the wall. But oh, it's Morozov. Can Dave? Oh, there's that Ooh. flop press. Here Ooh, we go. Oh he's got God. it. He's got the slip. Stop much. That was scary. <laughs> Dave Chafee, oh my goodness. Started with a top roll, ended with, or in halfway through, just goes raw side, then says, all right, flop press for the slip. Now, I, I think this does definitely help out Dave being in the straps, but I don't know if it's a big enough game changer. With his wrist being exploited as many times as it has already, like, I, I think Arm top rolls right now, and, um, and we'll see if Dave, if Dave can get a tight enough strap to have it make a big enough difference. Yeah, he needs to get deep, he needs to get arm on arm, and he needs to right, just stop. go sideways as hard as he can without Hold hesitation. Relax. Dave Chaffee has the good side of the strap. So Morozov, does Morozov top roll? Yeah, definitely. I think it definitely. In the, in the strap, it's going to be a lot harder though. It's, it's just been so successful the last few rounds with, it, with Dave's wrist going. I, I think he does. I, I mean, Dave might have too much purchase and might be able to do some crazy side pressure, Todd Hutchings looking stuff right now. But man, you can see the in terms of the knuckle height so far on this strap application, both guys very even. No one taking the high ground. It's a neutral grip from both both gentlemen. Feel like both guys just being careful, not overcommitting to any one position. My gut feel here is Dave Chaffee's going to take this from center sideways. Morozov's going to catch and defend, and we're going to have a war. Yeah, Dave uh, going knuckles up right now. So a lot of, like I said, a lot of hook pullers like to go knuckles up and then crash Rip. down on, into their hook. And the it looks shoulders. like Dave's going for that right now. Looks very similar to the first round, to be honest. That was the same strap position. Morozov has to be careful here. Dave is going to go for one big offensive charge. Morozov looking to control the pronator of Dave. Here we go. Final round. Take a grip. Don't knifing. Straight. Morozov, Morozov straight carving in, being told to straighten up. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. they're it's both okay. uncertain. Almost ready. Okay. Yeah. Referee says we're, we're almost, almost there, gents. Take a grip. Dave Chafee with one foul right now. He has to Take be careful grip. with us. Don't, don't lose this on fouls, Dave. 
Both they guys look equally unsure about this position. They're both worried. No one's certain right now. Go! There's the drive from the start. Oh. Dave Chafee looking for the pin. Morozov, wrist flexion, gets control in the defense. What can they do from here? Side pressure oh. now from Morozov. Dave Chafee in the open arm position. Morozov looks tight, looks in control, and there it is. Let's put double down. Wow, dude. Morozov winning that 3 2. What an impressive comeback from. He said he respect from you and it's. From Morozov. And then Morozov saying that he has absolute respect there for Dave Chafee. Awesome stuff. What an impressive performance from the young man from Kazakhstan. As we said it earlier, future superstar. Massive stuff. Replays coming up. Let's have a look at it one more time. Derek, take us through it. Oh, um, Morozov able to Such get in that deep hook and keep that shoulder committed and exploit Dave. Dave separating underneath uh, that bicep just opening up more and more. Morozov patience. Patience was the key to this match for sure, 100%. Uh, now he's starting to hit that that uh, that pronation of Dave slowly, slowly, slowly working on it. Looking at him, stay stay controlled and stay tight. Important surge at the end there. Let's join now, Coach Ray, with your winner, Adam Morozov. I am here with the winner, Artem Morozov. How impressive that was that. Come on, guys. No, no, no. Artem, как ты чувствуешь? Это, по-моему, самый самый большой бой в твоей жизни был. Да, это был самый тяжёлый бой в моей жизни, конечно. Не в чьей-то же. Коди, Коди. <laughs> he said that was the biggest match in my life for sure. And Cody, you just wait. We're going to see you on stage very soon. That was super impressive. Congratulations one more time to Terminator. Artem Morozov.